Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Honestly, leaving the last episode head held high with a reasonable keeper victory. It does count as a loss, but I mean, we did beat Mom. Mom's hard. Isaac, no complaints. I, I mean, that's a reasonable expectation to set for a keeper run, especially without Wooden Nickel. We're gonna play as Lilith, because we recently unlocked her. VBFD, DXR0. Lilith, low key, high key, all keys, like my least favorite character to play as in the game. When people were very fervent about Isaac, um, this was an opinion. It occasionally got me in a little bit of, I wouldn't say trouble, but let's say hot water, you know? Oh, you just don't know how to play her, you just... Hey, being an online content creator, you know, it's not all sleep until noon. Although a lot of it, admittedly, is tied in and directly related to that. But you also get gaslighted fairly frequently. And for people that, like, you know, are doubting that, you're probably watching the video. I didn't take offense to this, but I did look at it and say this is emblematic of what it means to be a content creator on the internet and you know you're talking for 45 minutes off the top of the dome piece and these are the kind of comments you get for your improv uh you, you cited an episode of isaac and said you know my quote was nobody tells me what to do to which you replied and uh to wit well technically you are a person so you tell you what to do the tweet came out of nowhere with no context just uh are basically the tweet said, are you nobody? Are we expected to believe that the streamer thinks he's nobody? So anyway, the only reason I bring that up is to illustrate, you know, when I say that I don't like Lilith, occasionally people are like, no, I, I have to make a minor adjustment to the way that I play. I'm a streamer, I can't... Look, it's not like that. It's just my least favorite character, okay? We're gonna use that, that fire that hatred to propel us forward to a, a victory and maybe a refactoring of how we think about, you know, Lilith to begin with. That is not where I wanted that bomb to be, but in the whole scheme of things, relatively acceptable location. Thank you. And thank you. Dude, easy floor, easy life. Oh, and now you forgot the eye. No, I didn't. Okay. Cursed eye. I didn't forget about cursed eye. Cursed eye forgot about me. Don't think about it. I do want to do the boss trap room. But I definitely do not want to do it until we get uh, at least... I mean, I would like to use our charge for uh, box of friends on the boss, obviously. Because the highest yield that we can have on this floor is a good deal with the devil. However... It wouldn't be the worst idea to use it on boss trap room, which actually, of course, is going to have, you know, two bosses in it anyway. Um, maybe you get a better value. Plus, you get more of your charge back, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to get two charges on this floor. So this is where you get into that Isaac, you know, linear regression, stoichiometric analysis. The reward for a devil room is likely to be better. But you're probably using box of friends to better effect. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? I got a plan. We're gonna do a boss trap room right away with two incubuses, which even then, you know, two incubuses with 10 rate of fire and 3.5 damage, it's not like you're blowing the doors off of any room at this point in time. The only reason Ragman looked easy is because we had our, uh, you know, both of our bombs at least did something. But if we get more bombs, we can use those uh, against the boss. And we have keys, so we should really invest in... Uh, Opening chests with them early instead of sitting on them and accomplishing nothing. So, uh, it was an extreme waste of my very limited resources so far to be here. We're way better off with our existing trinket. Also, I'm just realizing now, hey, I can't see. Uh, there's like a new level of bad manners from the troll engine Burning Basement, Curse of Darkness, and then Champion Enemies who are also faded. But that's okay. I, you know, I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to work harder. Beyonce, Knowles, and the Children of Destiny. I 
this point. I think we should probably peep this room. Uh, we're free. We've got our item room. We will almost 100% have a, a charge before the boss, which is very important. Dude, anti-grav, are you kidding me? I don't want to be a stick in the mud about this. However, it's very difficult. It's proportionally more difficult to hit enemies already. Uh, as a result of uh, Incubus, you know, kind of trailing behind us, which is, you know, what we've come to expect. But, anti-grab is going to make it freaking impossible. Literally 95% of the items in the game I will pick up. It's just we got two of those 5% items in a row. So all I ask is, in the interest of fairness, you know, you've taken two item rooms away from me. What do you give me in return? Magic Mush plus Brimstone. Anything less would be uncivilized. I feel like I got that from a television ad, but I feel like it's an ad for like grocery store ice cream or something. I gotta look it up. Anything else would be uncivilized. What is that for? Okay, uh, I like it. We can take it because it's a bone heart. It's bad. All right. Anything else would be uncivilized. Gillette? No, it's right guard. No, it's global Gillette. The Gillette Company enjoyed a position of dominance in men's toiletries. A broad category that included not only deodorants and antiperspirants. But <laughs> Dude, there's like so many marketing case studies. <laughs> about anything else would be uncivilized. Okay. What do we do? Well, we leave. Uh, and I'm very happy with our existing trinket. I would go so far as to say you could call this like a 1 in 10 bad run so far, which might seem like salt. It's not intended to be saline-induced. We got two item rooms that were garbage. I'd say one and a half useful boss room items. A deal with the devil that was garbage. And, uh, you know, a little light on the consumable front. So, all I'm saying is not that we're done. Not that we're screwed, but that we have a, we got a hole to dig ourselves out of. And the only way you dig yourself out of a hole in Isaac is you, you just play smart. You don't take damage. By not taking damage, you know, you extend your survival timer. And then that lets you get to rooms that might give you a chance to get out of this. Looking on the bright side, you know, this is how runs that get a lot of deal with the angel items start. You know, they usually start being a little bit b below the curve in terms of their... Efficacy early on, please, my god. Oh my word. What are you, like, quintuple the average HP of an enemy? So, you know, there's always Sacred Heart, Crown of Light, Holy Mantle, Soul, Dead Dove, etc., etc. Chances for us here. Um, we just want to kill these guys before they summon... Any of those, uh, like, little horn balls, which is just a terrible phrase, but... Oh, I hate this. But while hating this, um, there's also no pressure to use Box of Friends on this room. These enemies, uh, despite being so many of them, not really that bad from like a dodging standpoint. I'm trying to save, uh, you know, I'm refactoring. It's a chance to reset the way that I feel about Lilith. Um, I feel like the best way to use Box of Friends is to minimize your chances of getting hit on a room with enemies that rush you down. And we're not there. We're against enemies who are taking forever to kill, but, you know, are otherwise not really that bad. So I gotta tell you, dude, we're in anecdote territory because this run's taking forever. This weekend, I did, I was busy, okay? I did a lot this weekend. Domestically, dishes, clean the house. Professionally, even though it's my day off, you know, it being my day off mostly means I just don't record. You still got, you know, emails from people, things to sign. I'm not trying to be a big shot about it. I'm just like, uh, the, having a day where I literally don't have the excuse of, you know, well, I have to record and do my real job. It gives me the opportunity to handle a lot of that administrative stuff behind the scenes that, you know, nobody but me sees, really. But, you know, I did a lot of homework as well. But you know what else I did this weekend? I watched probably like eight or nine episodes of Hell's Kitchen. And dude, I have turned up my nose at that show. The way I turn up my nose at any show that has 18 seasons despite only being on the air for 13 years. If you are sleeping on Hell's Kitchen, don't make the same mistake I did. It's the best reality show in history. Gordon Ramsay invites, you know, 12 
professional chefs and then just emotionally like mind jams them. He becomes like the lord of their world. They will do anything to have the approval of Gordon Ramsay and it's awesome. These are people that they run their own kitchens at home and you know or at, at wherever they live I should say. And they're, they're used to being like, eh, can I get some chicken fingers? And then, you know, they're like, yes, chef, here you go. Now they're in the Gordon Ramsay's domain. They cook like a lobster wellington. And he's got them all, like, basically with chef PTSD. So, you know, everyone's very paranoid about being yelled at by Gordon Ramsay, which is a very fair uh, opinion to have on that show, obviously. And then the during like dinner service where they determine what team wins, what team loses, and what team's gonna have to evict somebody from the Big Brother house, um, Gordon Ramsay will sample their dishes as they go out into the the dining room, and he'll be like, "Who cooked this lobster, Wellington?" And everybody gets this deer in the headlight look. And then you know sometimes he's like, "Oh, come here," and then he brings all the chefs over and he goes, "What happens when there's hose in the lobster?" And they're like, "It's overcooked, chef." And, you know, he yells at them and you get your classic Gordon Ramsay soundbite. But the best is when he actually loves it. Because he knows what he's doing. It's not like it's unintentional, obviously. He's a master of it. He goes like, who cooked this beef, Wellington? And then they all go, uh, there was Amanda Chef. And Amanda's, like, got her head down. And then he's like, it's beautiful. And then they're like, thank you, Chef. All right, uh, two more beef Wellingtons coming right out. You know, they all, like, they sw Just the amount that they are dying for this praise from Gordon Ramsay. It's like he's creating daddy issues in these people. And it's awesome entertainment. A little bit, you know, psychologically troubling, I suppose, on some level. But, you know, it's great TV, man. And it's like, it's so the same thing episode to episode. Even down to, like, the menu and, like, the challenges are irrelevant for the most part. Who can name the most foods that start with A? But the actual dinner service portion of it is so entertaining every time. Also, the the people on the show. I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I haven't done reality TV, obviously. I'm not that much of a big shot. But even for stuff like Champions of Fire, you know, there's producers. And the producers will say things like, hey, go out, have some fun. You know, maybe start to, why don't you try to make it interesting for TV? And, like, you know, get a rival or do some trash talk. You know, whatever you'd like. So I'm sure that, like, one of the things that's very common in Hell's Kitchen is that if somebody is from a specific geographic place with an identity, they always hype that up as like part of their character on the show and I'm sure I've met real people and real people don't talk like contestants on Hell's Kitchen no matter where they're from most of the time or you would look at them as extreme weirdos um so you know there's like a dude from Texas every time he gives an interview he's like yeehaw I'm from the Lone Star State boy back home grilling's a religion and you're like just can you talk like a normal human being but the answer is no because I guarantee the producers are like you know hype up your you know Texan heritage so, some guy is born in New Jersey, but has an Italian last name. Bajorno, chef. My name's Lars. Mahalo, chef. You know, it's... They always hype up their regional identity as, like, an enormous part of the show. Hey, um, by the way, those, uh... I know the parlance of the modern day. Lilith stands. Explain yourselves. Well, every run has bad luck from time to time. Be that as it may, I'm taking this run out of context as an opportunity to describe why I don't like Lilith very much with 7 rate of fire and 3.5 damage uh, on the fourth floor of the game, having picked up what I would describe as maybe three useful items. Certainly, I'm never gonna say uh, negative things. I'm never going to say negative things, that was very dumb, about, uh, you know, getting a couple of speed upgrades. Divorce Papers is pretty good as well. Um, this is a great room for this, thankfully. Thankfully we have it, I guess. Um, but, you know, this this is a very, very, very subpar run at the present moment. we got a long way to go before this run's going to start to look like it's going to accomplish very much. I will say, um, I mean, obviously we want to hit our item room and stuff like that for the rest of 
this floor on a short-term standpoint. But uh, one of the ways, it's like an alternative win condition. Like one win condition as Lilith is just like, you know, mm, get strong, lol, forehead. But another win condition is, uh, you know, very constructively take damage, particularly on things like blood banks, try to get KMB and Conception to work for you. And eventually, there are bad familiars you will get with KMB and Conception on any given run. But one day, you're gonna get another Incubus, you're gonna get Succubus, you're gonna get Brimstone. Little Brim, I should say. Um, and we, we gotta be closing in. I mean, I haven't taken... I haven't taken a ton of damage on this run so far, but, you know, the... The door is knocking, because we are not killing enemies fast enough to realistically dodge. Can't even get in there yet. Keys, please. Now, we found our item room. Don't really have to go to the shop here. I would... The keeping the bone heart alive is a very, very important short-term goal. Just for our own... You know, it's a short-term goal for long-term survival. The longer that bone heart lives, the more HP it protects. So I really don't want to see that go anywhere. Uh, remote detonator is a, you know, the fourth in a series of pretty underwhelming item rooms. Uh, and you know, you I, I've been playing this game for a long time. You can win with bad item rooms, but the more bad item rooms you get, you know, it gets a lot harder as time goes on to. See that W. This is a, it, it's becoming an increasingly huge floor for us, to be honest. You know, like we obviously, step one, we want to like maximize our odds of getting that deal with the angel or devil, which I would still be, you know, not averse to taking. But then beyond that, um, you know, we, we're at the point where I'm almost like, dude, if we get a trash boss item, we're in staunchly below average territory to begin with here so certainly you know it would be ill-advised to say that we're giving up on this run because we're not not even close really but we're uh in dire need of some kind of like e even just for morale boosting if you could just hook me up with like even a this is a modest Tears upgrade, a half decent tier effect, something along those lines. Dude, did they rework the secret room algorithm? I've been missing a lot of second secret rooms lately. So the stain, probably around the mid tier of bosses we could fight. You know the run's dangerous because I'm actually giving you strategic commentary on the bosses, which I never do. <laughs> You're like, yeah, the stain. I've heard of him. Uh, seen him about 500 times. I know, I know what to expect from this fight, but you know it. We're at the point where, you know, you run up against a difficult boss, it could be, uh, could be end of the line, so... I think you consider it relatively lucky. We got a boss roughly about average. Rate of fire increase, some spirit heart protection. There's a modest rate of fire increase, but it's something. Because I am not a coward, we will fight the angel statue. I'm going to use every single bomb that I have, without a doubt. Very dumb. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, we're it's it's Kambi in Conception's world, and we're just living in it right now. What do I mean by that asinine statement? Um, we need. Oh my God. Thank you, Kambi Conception. Why? Why stand there? We're gonna lose this Eternal Heart, ha having just gotten it. We need Kambi Conception. I did literally just... Oh my god. Just see it pay out. It got us Dark Bum. It's really, really good. But it's not really, really good right now. We really need damage more than anything else, you know, this could muster for us. As of right now, this is... I mean, we're in train wreck territory, and I hate to say it, but... It's its the sincere truth. Now, my bad for taking so much damage against the angel statue. I'll tell you what went through my head. It was a very simple expression. The expression was, we are not nearly strong enough to fight this angel, but I don't want to be called a coward. 
<laughs> so I let my my pride cause me some problems there. Will we fight our next angel statue? Well, at this point, you gotta. You know, we're in that territory now where we're like, you know, there's a couple of items we have to try. There's a couple of items that win you the game just by picking them up. Thank you. It's a little rich to suggest we need those items. You know, do we need a mom's knife? Do we need a brimstone? No, we could get by. I mean, I know we're dealing with predominantly angel deals in all likelihood now, but we could get by with something worse than that, but not much worse. The great thing about Dark Bomb is that, you know, previously Red Hearts were dead air. You know, there's nothing we could do about them. Oh my god. Dude, it really starts to highlight when you don't have damage, Isaac's kind of a hard game. You know, we're shooting enemies. The enemy is moving while it shoots as a result of the knockback. When the head explodes, it shoots in four cardinal directions and they chase us down. Most of the time at this point, you walk into the room and you go, and all the enemies die. This run, uh, no such luck. Slightly more cumbersome. I will say, in the interest of being balanced, but also, admittedly, a little bit more negative about Dark Bomb, it doesn't synergize well with, uh, with Box of Friends. In fact, it might synergize destructively, but I honestly don't know. Like, if one Dark Bomb picks up one Red Heart and the other Dark Bomb picks up one Red Heart, when you go to the next room, oh my word. Are the red hearts, like, combined? Or is that one just lost to the ether forever? By the way, if you're listening to this and you're like, well, obviously it's... No, it's not... It's up to the it's up to the way that they structured the game, you know? It's not an obvious thing. If there's, you know, without being DAE... First off, they could do it a hundred different ways, I suppose. But if they're like, how many hearts does this Dark Bomb have? then it's probably going to be lost to the ether when the Dark Bomb's destroyed. Or maybe it'll be stored for the next time you spawn a second Dark Bomb. Which, you know, would be surprising to me, but I guess theoretically possible. The other alternative would be, you know, they have like an overarching static variable. How many hearts does Dark Bomb have in general? At which point, having picked up that second one, you know, you're, you're likely to get some kind of payout. Well, guaranteed, I guess, to get some kind of payout, to be more specific. Okay, um, this is good, mostly for Bookworm, because at the present moment we get no, well, you know, I, I'm wrong, I'll just tell you. I think we don't want Box of Friends. I think we want Satanic Bible. Box of Friends can be a very fun item. Uh, as of right now, is it worth much? Yes, it is. Uh, the only thing is Satanic Bible is worth more. Like, maybe by a lot. Maybe by, like, a staggering amount. So I'm ba- are we, What floor are we on? Devs 1. So we're at least one full floor, likely to be two full floors behind schedule. All I ask you, and I'm being genuine, all I ask you is a DPS upgrade on this floor. The fact that you've given me no mapping is already a slap in the face. Just hook me up, okay? Like, we're in this together, or we're supposed to be, at least. That's not bad. You know, I will take a speed down from, like, 1.9 to have the chance for it to be something else, I suppose. In a, in a broad, philosophical sense. Love to see some dead ends. I mean, I got this... You wouldn't have hurt this uh, fly, would you? I got this locust of death trinket. It's out here trying to do some damage. It showed up on floor one. And it's like, you know... What, what are you shooting? The bomb that I placed. Stop shooting the bomb that I placed. That's obviously... <sighs> okay. This is on me. The tilt is real. 
this is about where the average, you know, train wreck run starts to tilt me to the point of no return. Even though we have returned from it on myriad occasion in the past. What do we do? The first step is you beg the Lord above for a beat the odds devil deal. Help! I need somebody. Help! Not just anybody! So like I said, this is a good opportunity for us to, you know, reframe and refactor how we feel about Lilith in general. And it's, it's really, as of right now, doing a wonderful job. I used to think Lilith was, you know, the worst character in this game. I've now come around to the, uh, the new opinion that she's actually maybe the worst character in any game. In any game in history. She's worse than Kafka. Yes. Um, I do still want to do this room. Where's my... You know what? Forget it. I don't want the item room. I've decided the item room is garbage. So I shouldn't have even come back here. Especially because if I looked in my heart of hearts, I probably could have conjured what this room looked like. Ha 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 ha! There's beams that we can't... Or balls that we can't dodge at all. Honestly, I'm going to try to kill you. But I wouldn't mind if you hit me. And then the demon heart will come out of hiding to ruin your life. That's what you deserve. Death card. Okay, please give me a boss that is hard countered by death. Uh, obviously, this is not going to happen. I should have known that because of Book of Revelation. See, credit and blame where credit and blame are due, my dudes. I beg you, war. I've given you all of my explodies. Please respond. I'm trying not- I can feel the blood pressure rising, dude. It's like in my head. Like, if you could see me right now, I would look like Joe Rogan. We gotta settle it down. We know we're gonna get a cube of meat. What's the benefit of a cube of meat? Relatively high. Um, I will walk into enemies with cube of meat to kill them. I'm not out to win this run with a 3.5 speed Incubus. What I'm out to win this run with... Sorry, ball of bandages, my mistake. Um, what I'm out to win this run with is whatever I need to win the run with. I know that sounds like circular reasoning, it's because it is. <laughs> the more we get hit, as much as it's inadvisable, the closer we get to Cambian Conception, the closer we get to another Incubus, Little Brim, Succubus, many other various items providing us some degree of usefulness. Obviously, we gotta get that guy taken care of. Go grab this, please. Spirit Heart? You got me? I'm not mad. There's, there's so much more to be angry about on this run. It would be very ignorant to be upset about one of our good things, which is Dark Bum. I'm losing my mind to some extent because I'm like, wait a minute, this run was really bad last floor? Why is this floor so easy? <laughs> and I think we've just gotten, uh, you know, a, an assortment of... That was really dumb. An assortment of relatively easy rooms so far. I'd really like to... Oh, we don't need to sneak a bomb in there anymore. Got him. Do not... Got him. Got him. Okay. This has gone pretty well. I'm definitely not going to fight the boss right away if we are able to find them. Oh, dude. Hello. We got through the spine of this room. Kind of like... Unbelievably quickly. Is it good? No! Are you- are we watching the same run? <laughs> it's obviously still horrible, but at least we have a cube of meat like trying to drive the bus for us now. Or at least, you know, if not drive the bus, it's saying, Hey you, move to the back of the bus. We got- it's a Broadway Camby corridor. We're riding the 99B line. People need to get picked up. There's no SkyTrain here yet because of lack of funding for infrastructure. 
No, 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 no. Okay. Range up is largely irrelevant, but... Not actively bad, which is a positive change for us. We did just get a second. I don't know how long ago we got it. You know, I've been living in this tilted world for a long time. Um, but we did get a second Incubus. Which... You, I mean, it, it's probably not the best of all the possible upgrades. Like, Little Brim would be statically more valuable right now. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little mad, Dark Bomb. I invested a lot into that. Please respond. Pointy Rib also strikes me as, like, a modestly useful get here. At the very least, we're leaving this run 100% Mom will die. We'll also have a deal with the Angel Chance here. The way I see Pointy Rib is that it's, like, worse Mom's Knife, but that's still potentially very, very, very good. Oh my god, this run is sort of okay now. We took the Polaroid. We took the Sensor. We took the run that remind us of the good times. We took the runs that remind us of the best times. Now I can start to, like, I can feel the blood pressure coming down a little bit. Um, I look more like Sean Evans now. Which, you know, no offense, is kind of an improvement. Not just on Joe Rogan, but on me. Um, but, you know, now I'm like, what were we complaining about? You know, we got double Incubus. We got this, you know, uh, pointy rib. We got Cuban meat. We got bookworm. What this run comes down to at the present moment is my psychological debt on a mental health level. From the time when this run was horrible. Uh, and then on top of that, the more charges we get of Satanic Bible, every single one raises our win rate. I would, you know, by the time this run is over, I wouldn't mind picking up a damage upgrade. You know, just one, really. It, it doesn't even have to necessarily be a 10 out of 10. I would like it to be like at least a 7, given the amount of time we've waited for it, but... You know, let's focus on other positives on this run. Basically, no pressure to beat Hush as a result of the fact that there's no chance we make it there. Is this an XL floor? No. I only look, not because of wishful thinking. Or at least not 100% because of wishful thinking. How did we not get hit? Uh, but because, you know, when you see this double spine, you start to think, okay, that's like emblematic of a big room. That's a big room trademark. Oh, it's well worth the key. No joke. Very simple example of how us circling in the wrong direction with Cube of Meat cost us like 30 seconds and also led to a, a real chance to get hit there. You know what would also go a long way to, you know, the game making it right right now? For the earlier, uh, you know, indignity of having to deal with our starting parameters for so long. Um, and I, this is not salt. Just give me an Emperor card. Even... More so than a damage upgrade. You know, if we're going to get, like, a modest damage upgrade, like a, you know, Blood Clot or something like that. Trade it in for an Emperor card, if I get the choice. The ability to skip a floor is worth its weight in diamonds. In tritium. Dark Bomb, you've done a wonderful job there. Thank you. And this floor, considering... Everything that's happening right now. This floor went just fine. Okay. Probably should not do this. But I thought, you know, some raw damage early. There's a lot of value in that. I hate the Matriarch, dude. There we go. That's what I wanted. Celtic Cross. And we hemorrhaged a lot of HP to make that happen. He ate it. He spit it out on me. I know that that's what happens, but there was some pandemonium there. We got a rate of fire increase. Okay. <laughs> I beg. I beg. Good sir. Please, chef. The Wellington is cooked properly. Let me come back to dinner service. The tiers upgrades would normally be really nice. The only thing is, like, we're at the cap right now. So, it's not that they're not nice. Just they're not as nice as they could be, given the 
Current circumstance. Okay, you brought me back. I'm on life support for the 15th time. Full health. I was in dire need of a full run reroll, but now that I think about it, that might actually be horrendous. Oh good, it's Child Leash. I hope, you know, I'm dealing with it to some extent in the Bully playthrough right now. I have an uncanny ability, and this is, you know, most people are like, yeah, I'm really strong, like, I'm really smart. I'm not like that. Here's what my uncanny ability is, okay? My uncanny ability is to have fun while also simultaneously being miserable. Like, misery is, is weirdly enjoyable in some ways for me. And I'm dealing with it to some extent on the Bully playthrough where people are like, you know, well, if you don't enjoy the game, you should just stop playing it. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I'm enjoying... I mean, the game's okay. I'm playing it up a little bit. But I'm also enjoying the fact that I'm not enjoying the game. Did you know your NLS is weird? Oh, always. Were you in there? That's how you know your wife sees the best side of you. She thought I was live earlier than usual. It has happened. But, you know, like I was saying, you know, people are like, why don't you just quit bully if you're not liking it? And the answer is, I'm liking that there's some misery to mine, hopefully for the amusement of not only chat, but also myself as well. So, like, you know, why doesn't he just Alt F4 run like this? Well, because there's people watching. <laughs> but, on top of that, you know, there's some joy in the misery here. As strange as it may sound. Deal with the angel, please, God, I beg you. Goat head baby, it's cute but useless. Ryan enjoys his pain. It's true. I don't know why you had to say it like that. <laughs> what a strange way to say it. I have gotten holy mantle. She thinks pre-chat is weird. <laughs> I got a hole in my pocket because I had to pick up the DoorDash yesterday. I walked very, very quickly into the doorknob. And, like, the force was such that it tore the pocket off of my jeans. You know what I did? Because I'm a survivor. I pulled my hoodie down low. Covered most of the underwear and went down anyway. Then I changed my pants later that day, of course. Alright, so with Holy Mantle... You probably don't need an introduction as to the efficacy of this item. However, if you're gonna have a trade, uh, train wreck run with no benefit defensively, or sorry, offensively, it's quite the opposite. If you're gonna have a train wreck run with no benefit offensively, this is the item you want in your corner. Blocking one damage per room, Yara is so unbelievably useful. Especially if we can get some more keys. I will rush down. Thank- It's all coming together now. Straight up. The Cuba meat. You know, the, uh, uh useless. The Cuba meat, all of a sudden. Previously, it was just kind of like a nice desperation move. Now it's, you know, you, you could not ask for more. Satanic Bible allowing us to live long enough to get to this point. Everything's coming up roses. I will not. We n guaranteed item on the next floor. I will not take damage. Now, oh, okay, I will take a little damage, but only productively to get closer to KMV and Conception popping off. Hanged man, no thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, this run has gone on a little bit longer than necessary. I'm going to go into this uh, group chat here, and I'm going to say, Hey, guys, how... I know... much If you're cool with oh, Cody's script, let me know. Or something like... No heroes here. So, Cody's... It's cool. Give me up, but 
my Isaac Emperor is going a little late. Probably five minutes. Okay. Checks and balances, baby. Checks and balances. Don't... Oh, I was going to say don't forget the error rune. Ain't nothing to forget yet. So, what I'm doing here is very risky. But I feel... Like I just got home and I feel... That's exactly what I wanted out of this. Okay. An, a, an opportunity to reference the Madonna classic Ray of Light. Um, no, what I wanted out of this was... Getting that phase of Isaac done as quickly as possible. Because that phase of Isaac is by far the most annoying. I will level with you on a 100% human-to-human -human level. We will not defeat Mega Satan with our current run. I'm not saying we won't have a chance. I'm just saying, you know... Even with all of the benefits we've gotten, Holy Mantle is so good. Why why walk into him? Over aggressive Cuba Me play. Holy Mantle is so good at room to room benefits. Yeah, a funny joke. Um, but not what we need right now. When it comes to uh, you know, killing a large boss. Helpful, but not so much. Helpful, but not so much. Helpful, but not so much. Our first damage upgrade of the whole game. Well, that's not even a damage upgrade, is it? Alright, so step one is very, very, very simple. We... I mean, I'm loving the creep we're putting down, don't get me wrong. Probably should go for a card instead of going for the... Uh, the bombs, but so be it. What's done is done. We really want keys. Two bombs is still valuable to some degree. Creep should body these guys. This is not your average Lilith run. But, dude, just even getting some support out of this one and having finished, like, one section is worth so much. Dark Bomb, hook me up. Thank you for the spirit heart. We got a key. Spilled milk. At this point, I have to assume that I have done something in, a, in another life that has led to me being punished. It's very painful. But, you know, one day we'll get... I was just... That was just me intellectually trying to see how much damage we do now that we have spilled milk. And the answer is, you know, actually quite a lot more. Maybe... Mega Satan has an opportunity. Hitherto unknown. Sorry, I'm just spitballing the name of my Netflix travel show. The frustration is mounting to an absurd degree at our seeming inability to kill these enemies. Ignore the sound of the gasoline leak. It's not a gas leak. It's the shower in the other room. Item. Told you. <laughs> Roundabout. Better than uh, know about. You know, I, okay, I guess I'll take Curse of the Tower as well. My mistake. Here, I'm going to go pop in twitch.tv slash northern line. I'm going to say, there's Austin. Hello, I will be five minutes late. Don't blame me. Blame Nicholas for Lilith being bad. See you soon. Fuck. All right. Man, there's a lot of Pepe hands in chat. I walk too close to the sun, Steve Harwell would be unhappy. Or would he be happy, I suppose? I don't know, okay? I never really got the gist of that song. So this run is is not horrendous now, but it is still just miserable in general. Like, if you ever want to... We might... We'll probably beat Blue Baby. That much is close to assured. However, if you ever want to know true misery, let me tell you, dude. No damage upgrades as Lilith on the final floor of the game 
despite using a Yara rune on the chest and being able to open all eight chests. That's just like a slap in the face. I'm not a real, like, woe is me sort of guy. I'm just, uh, just telling it like it is, you know? Our inability to, I mean, sure, bookworm, sure. Holy mantle cube of meat. But, like, I would like our tears to do some damage. I find that when your tears do damage, they're much more effective at killing enemies than they otherwise are, you know, by default, so... The good news is, war is totally screwed. If we could ever get him to stand STILL FOR A FREAKING SECOND! Thank you. Okay, he's melting. Haunt should not be overly difficult. Here you go, just wedge yourself up in his general purview. Problem solved. It's good. Not good. Not a, not a smart move on my part. When I said it was good, I was incorrect. You're watching a man slowly lose his mind while he plays Isaac. What, what little he had of one to begin with, at least. Thank you. Oh, it's a dead end. War... What is it good for? I had the choice between that or creep, and I feel like I chose sensibly. All right, well. We might have a cojone-less run right now. I don't really have a big interest in guaranteeing ourselves a death against Mega Satan. So we will certainly fight Blue Baby. And I will relish the opportunity of which to do so. Let me. Then we might leave because life is pain. And honestly, I don't want to do long-term damage to my enjoyment of Lilith. Let one bad run. It's like the Osmond song, you know? One bad apple doesn't spoil the whole bunch, girl. Very troubling message, perhaps, in 2018. That song was written in the 1910s. Please, Boneheart. You've been a trusted advisor for so long. Not now. I don't know what's happening. We got hit by a freaking contact bomb. It's all going up in smoke. Thank you. Please. I just desire. Yo, I was now's the time. Thanks for the luck upgrades. My god, it's the longest chest in history. Don't know why I'm sounding like Jack Nicholson. Just beat Blue Baby. Put this long national nightmare behind us. It never ends. Okay. If I can just kill you before you duck under. Nope, range is too low. Thank you, thank you. No, you son of a gun. There's a key drop, or a penny drop. Please give me a card. It doesn't have to be, you know, a 10 out of 10. Just give me any card in Earth's history is acceptable. It's a, it's bombs, that's also fine. Okay. We'll place bombs. We will stand as far away from this man as is humanly possible. I have no idea which ones of these shots are homing. Um, I guess red shots are homing. Thanks to the sensor, it changes the color. How ironic. Okay. Wind condition. Uh, very simple. Don't get hit. 
Secondary win condition. Get hit, get spilled milk, but get invincibility right after. Thanks to Celtic Cross. Okay. Basically happened. Stay back. Back, away, away. Foul beast. We've done it. Take me out. I'm done. Thanks for watching. I wouldn't have. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. That was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya. Ha. <laughs>